morning so let us talk about the auditing internal audit or qa quality assurance okay and uh, let us see how can we implement the automotive process approach in qa audit so uh, when you go and meet the auditee for qa so what is the first question you are going to ask him after the preliminaries are over that is good morning good afternoon whatever it is and uh, when you have made the, the auditee comfortable and when you actually start recording your findings you need to follow the automotive process approach so how do we go ahead for a quality audit that uh, we are going to see okay i'm going to tell you so be careful <coughs> i'm not writing anything so you have to listen to my words very carefully so first question you have to ask to the qa or uh, for that matter for any uh, process owner the first question in the audit should be what are your performance indicators so in case of uh, qa first check up uh, what are the performance indicators quality objectives set for the process now he has uh, shown you he has told you that uh, these are the performance indicators okay out of that first you have to select uh, what are the customer score cards customer complaints external rejection ppm any special notifications uh, which have been made for from that customer these you find out first that means the total chart the right hand corner box you first find out what is the status of the targets of performance indicators and quality objectives set for the process for the function okay and uh, if the customer complaints uh, register has been shown then first you focus on any customer who is iitf customer ford general motors chrysler and uh, there are several other manufacturers truck manufacturers so you find out if not then you go for iitf non iitf but demanding customer that means a customer who has told you to go for iitf 16949 certification that is second thing third you find out who is the automotive customer if it is not demanding fine then you first find out who are the automotive customers what is the status of customer complaints how many of the complaints have come and which of them are still open focus on that if they say that all complaints are closed fantastic record it now you go to the customer complaint register and find out how is the distribution of customer complaints which particular process the customer complaints are more focus on that process focus on that part and find out if root cause analysis has been done corrective actions have been implemented if if they show you that yes this is the corrective action then with the subsequent or date of the subsequent period you find out whether those corrective actions which they have taken are effective whether there is any verification of the corrective actions taken this you find out okay so we are talking about automotive process approach during auditing we have started qa audit and first of all what we what we asked shows the total chart from the total chart we asked what are the process measurements effectiveness efficiency indicators from there we picked up customer complaints 
customer scorecards special notifications first we selected the automotive customers we analyze we saw whether the analysis of customer complaints is available and from there we found out which part which process which manufacturing process is uh, not uh, behaving in the normal fashion so that uh, during the production audit we further focus on those uh, production processes uh, this is the automotive process approach start with the process measurements then you go to the inputs then you go to the outputs then you see what are the what is the knowledge related to that process internal knowledge external knowledge now another question you need to ask whether any risk analysis has been carried out for this process whether any risk register is maintained under clause 6121 okay then the audit should have awareness of risk management whether they are doing quantitative risk analysis or qualitative risk analysis that need to be there then uh, rest of the uh, audit you go through you keep on sampling various uh, various uh, records now another important thing you have to see is that whether customer specific requirements have been captured if csr is captured then you seek for csr sample one of the requirements and audit about the awareness about the implementation that is how you proceed with the automotive process approach is it clear thank you so much bye bye take care see you